Staying with the upcoming ASEAN Korea summit, the venue for the gathering is putting the final touches. Shin Zemin zooms in on the preparations in Mexico. The red carpet has been rolled out to greet the decision makers from all the ASEAN member nations who will soon be descending on South Korea's southern port city for the 2019 ASEAN Korea commemorative summit. At one of the nation's largest convention centers, Bexco, last minute preparations are underway as the venue prepares to welcome hundreds of participants from South Korea and Southeast Asia, this after hosting the 2014 event. Divided into three main areas, Bexco houses summit meeting rooms, a leader's lounge, press conference halls, and a place where delegations can pray, specially catered to ASEAN's diverse religious populations. And the leaders, who are gathering to celebrate 30 years of dialogue between South Korea and ASEAN, will open doors that will help them frame their game plan for the next three decades. For the summit, it's expected to attract some 10,000 diplomats, businessmen and the members of the press from the 11 participating nations. The country's second largest city is looking to cash in big from the influx of people that will be flooding in just a matter of days from now. The Pusan Development Institute projects the summit will rake in some 42 million U.S. dollars for the city and generate more than 400 new jobs. That, in addition to the potential benefits to the city's brand image. On top of the summit meetings, additional events are also taking place at Bexco. From the ASEAN ROK CEO Summit relating to B2B connections, the innovation showcased on future vision for industrial technologies to beauty and fashion related events like a fashion week and beauty festival, the commemorative event aims to attract participants from all walks of life. The host broadcaster for the three-day summit is South Korean public broadcaster KBS and it will also be beamed live around the world through South Korea's only international English channel, Arirang TV. Shin Se-min, Arirang News, Busan.